Every year in the iron and steel works of Britain, there are something like 30,000 accidents serious enough for a man to be off work. Their cost is heavy, both in human suffering and in the damage they do to production. A single accident can interfere seriously with a program of work. Not merely in the obvious way, that some key man is off for a time, but because when somebody is hurt, his mates are often badly shaken and the whole rhythm of production is broken. In many plants, working with the accident prevention officer, there is a regular committee with representatives from every department. When an accident happens, they try to find out why and to work out how to stop the same thing happening again. Most accidents are caused by a combination of errors and each one must be corrected for the future. But of course, holding inquests on accidents is only part of the job. The real aim is to see that every piece of equipment and every process is kept as safe as possible all the time. But that's not just a matter for a specialist and a committee. Accident prevention is everybody's business. Come round the works with me and I'll show you what I mean. Of course, in many departments, you have to be alert and active to do the job at all. The work is often strenuous and the conditions can be pretty hot. Many of the processes call for exact judgment and split-second timing. Sometimes people do get hurt on these jobs when something unforeseeable happens, like a bar coming through crooked. But for the most part, the jobs that look the most dangerous don't have a high accident rate because of the skill and experience of the men who do them. Managements, for their part, are vitally interested in preventing accidents and take every precaution against them. Carrying out standard tests and regular examination of lifting tackle and keeping detailed up-to-the-minute records to make sure that every item in use is in a safe condition. Laying down proper rules and procedures so that machines can't be moved while maintenance or repair work is done on them. Providing special protection for certain jobs with particular hazards. Fitting guards to dangerous machinery so that there's no risk of limbs or clothing getting caught in moving parts during operation or adjustment. Sometimes designing and making special guards to meet the requirements of a particular job. Always making sure that even the smallest and most straightforward machine has been made foolproof. Of course, all these measures, to be effective, need the full cooperation of everybody concerned. The best procedures, the best equipment, can't do any good if they're not used. But on the whole, everybody is more safety conscious nowadays and accidents are mainly caused by neglect of the small things. Nearly a third of our accidents, about 10,000 every year, come from handling metal or tools. Most of the 
this handling is difficult to do away with, especially in foundries. In many shops, however, plant has now been introduced to cut down handling to a minimum. But in many cases, it isn't what's handled that's dangerous, it's the way it's handled. Gloves are provided for this sort of job, and it's better to put them on, or you may get a damaged hand. It's better still, wherever possible, to use a machine. Even with a machine doing the work, a lot depends on how you load it. This is a thoroughly bad method and can easily lead to crushed fingers. Laying the bars crisscross and with the ends free ensures that they can't slip or roll. One fifth of our accidents, about 6,000 every year, come from things falling onto people. And they don't have to be very heavy things or to fall very far to cause a nasty injury. These mine tub wheels, for instance, have been arranged very carefully. But the stacks are a bit too high and the stacking area isn't clearly marked off from the roadway. Even a broken toe can be very painful. But look at this. Here's a 20 pound weight dropping freely from a height of four feet. You see, it looks like an ordinary shoe, but there's a toe cap of high grade steel under the leather. These safety shoes would have given the stacker complete protection for his toes. And in many works, they can be bought for less than the price of ordinary boots and shoes. Another 6,000 accidents every year come from people falling or knocking against things. That's not likely to happen in a well-lit shop like this, with clearly marked gangways and everything kept tidy. But in this sort of place, with bad lighting, cramped space, tools, material, and the scrap left everywhere, it's bound to happen. Just a couple of pieces of angle left lying in the gangway. You might easily have broken your leg falling like that. I've said over and over again, someone ought to shift this stuff. If you knew it was there, couldn't you have shifted it yourself? It's not my job. It's not my job, but... Well, that's all I had to show you. Damaging yourself, handling things, having things fall on you, and falling and knocking against things. Not very exciting, really, but they add up to three quarters of all our accidents every year. And the only way to stop them is by being careful, by making accident prevention your business. You may be an expert at your job. You may have been doing it for years. But if you take a chance on safety, you're taking a chance of hurting or even killing someone perhaps yourself, of having this at your door.